Welcome to the third and final day of the Rally de Portugal. We're in the Algarve region in the south of the country. And since moving here in 2007, this event has provided lots of entertainment and the 2010 edition has been no exception. The star of the show so far has been Citroen junior team driver Sebastian Ogier. He came close to recording his first WRC win at the last round in New Zealand. And he'll go into this final day in Portugal with a 21 second lead. We never know if it is enough compared to Seb, uh, for sure it will be hard until the end. Uh, but uh, we will try, if, if we do the same day as today, uh, it's possible. And as Sebastian is all too aware, the man in second place is six times world champion Sebastian Lowe. He began day two, just under 45 seconds behind Ogier, and the smart money was on him to take a big chunk out of that. One of the keys to success on these rough gravel stages is to preserve your tyres. Seb used his experience to good effect here, but Ogier was more than a match for him in this department. I was saving him too much the tyres in the first stage in the afternoon. I didn't have any split time on, on, on him, so I expected to be in a right rhythm and at the final it was, uh, I was too slow. So then I, I pushed harder in the two next, but uh, it was a bit late. Loeb's Citroen teammate Danny Sordo was not so successful here. This was how his tyres looked at the end of stage 11, and this would contribute to him losing the place in the top three he'd held since day one. The man who took over in that position was another Citroen C4, the one with Peter Solberg at the wheel. With Citroen holding the top four positions, Mikko Hirvonen in fifth is the leading Ford, but yet again this season he struggled to find his rhythm and is well over a minute off the lead. It was not a good day in the field for Ford. Yanimati Lapin was lying in sixth position when he entered stage nine. That was the end of his rally. In 2007, F1 champion Kimi Raikkonen has had his moments in these tough stages. But he's still on the road and heading for a quick scoring finish in ninth. So this is how the leaderboard looks going into this final day. OGA's lead over Loeb stands at 21.1 seconds. Peter Solberg is another 31 behind. His advantage over Danny Sordo stands at 13 and a half seconds. This is where we are in the world. The service park and Rally HQ are situated in the city of Faro, 300 kilometers to the south of the Portuguese capital, Lisbon. Today's five stages total less than 90 kilometers, but they are some of the toughest of the rally. And they include the Felize test, which is where this happened last year. The Arimati Lapala's accident this year is minor compared to this memorable off. Belize is the first stage of the day. All the drivers will have a big caution marked in their pace notes at the point where Yanimati went off. And there's lots more in its 21 kilometers to catch out the unwary. And there'll be no let up in the 22 and a half kilometers of Lule. This stage has some of the most abrasive gravel as it winds up and down the valleys. It all finishes with a spectacular super special stage around the Estadio Algarve. It's an early start for the crews as they prepare themselves mentally and physically for the final push. And it's another day of destiny for Sebastian Ogier for the second successive rally. He begins day three with a real shot at claiming his first ever win. The Citroën driver has got it all to do though. He's starting with a lead of just over 21 seconds. And again, as the first car on the road, he'll be facing a slightly more slippery surface than his hero and compatriot, Sebastian Lowe. So can the championship leader build a late charge to make a last-ditch bid for his third successive Portugal victory? The Citroën team will be watching nervously. They won't want a repeat of the final morning mayhem we saw in New Zealand. Amazing shot of the dramatic Portuguese landscape here. The stage is again winding through the picturesque valleys above Faro. There's also a fight for third to be resolved this morning. Peter Solberg currently holds the position. Oh, 
six right down long, opens just like left of a crest, opens long, keep very in of a crest, a double caution. That six double right caution crest, from like Phil Mills is referring to the corner that caused Latvala's accident last year. There it is, the Norwegians safely passing through there, but Pedder seems to have a handling problem this morning. And Danny Sordo will be quick to take advantage of any delay for Petter. The Spaniard had his own problems yesterday and starting the day 13 and a half seconds behind. He's charging through the challenging corners of the Lise. With Petter struggling, it could be a good start to the final morning for Danny. Rally leader Ogier, meanwhile, is fast approaching the finish of stage 14. <laughs> We can get an update on the leading pair's progress so far with virtual spectator as they approach the 17.9 kilometer split time and Loeb was well ahead of his compatriot. Five point nine seconds up already with just the last few kilometers to run. The rally leader makes it safely through stage 14 and a chance now to have a word with the Citroen Junior driver at the stop control. Yeah, yeah, I have speed, so I know I'm slower, but it's normal. I think I did a good stage, but uh, OK, I'm still first on the road. Back with Loeb as he pushes on to the finish, hoping to take advantage of Ogier's road sweeping. He's going to take a big bite out of Ogier's advantage here. 6.2 seconds quicker. The leader's advantage is slashed to 14.9. It was difficult to see the road sometimes. The, the dust is staying a bit. It was not easy. I tried really hard and uh, I'm quite happy with the time. Sebastian was fast. But uh, OK, we continue. Back with Petter Solberg and it's a loose steering bolt that's causing his handling problem. Six right minus Titans, four plus of a crest. He's struggling to keep up the pace and his hopes of holding on to third could be fading here. It's causing him real concern and he's losing a lot of time to both Sordo and Kievenen. There's something wrong with the steering. Something is loose. What, you've lost the power steering? No, 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 something is, uh, something is loose. So, uh, very scary, very scary. So I have to, I have to go and check quickly. This early start has made for a challenging opening stage. Nico Hirvonen is having real visibility problems with the low sunlight. The first run through Felice is actually a good one for Miko though. Third fastest, he's now just under eight seconds behind third place. The fight for the final podium spot still very much alive then, as is the battle for victory. Loeb now less than 15 seconds behind Ogier. The rally leader will be looking nervously over his shoulder. Henning Solberg, Matt Wilson and Matt Sosberg round off the top eight. Loeb is on another charge. Can Ogier hold him off? Find out after the break.